Our Forage Painted Book Collection is very special. This is the forage of a book. Forage painting is done on this side of the book, underneath the gilding. These are books on which the forage has been painted. The reason that this was done was to add value to the book and add interest to the book. If you fan it one way, you'll get an image. Some of our images are a castle, a seascape, a couple hunting scenes, a city view, a vertical one with trees and a house, Adam and Eve, and then a medical one of gathering plants. Forage painting began in England in the mid-1600s. It really gained in popularity after that in the 1800s. It was a form of book decoration beyond just a fancy binding, so it added a little bit extra to the book. The books that were most commonly painted were Bibles and prayer books. Greek and Latin classics were popular as well. Travel and sports, which we do have a couple sporting books, and books by English poets made up a vast majority of forage painted books. And we have a couple books by Milton and six poetry books in all that have their forages decorated. Forage paintings on books did not always match the subject matter of the book. Forage painting is still being done today. There's a woman in Texas that has developed her own technique for doing these books. We have an instruction manual that she's written to help people understand how to paint forages on books. Every time we demonstrate these books, we fan the foredge, we're damaging them a little bit. So with this video, we can show people what we have, they can watch it over and over again, and the books will remain protected. Our forage painted books are really special because they represent a time period in book decoration where not only was the binding attractive, there was an added element of surprise with painting the forage of the book. If you'd like to learn more about our collection of forage books, come to the Topeka Room and we'll help you out.